ever felt overwhelmed by hustling and tips and hacks and strategies to get to where you want to be, then stay tuned because today we are embracing the art of slow living. Hi, I'm Serena Simmons and welcome to 8 Model Psychology. Today we're doing something really exciting. We are starting Ape Summer School. For the next four weeks I'm going to share with you four short videos all designed to help you see the benefits of a slower pace of living. So why slow? Well slow seems to be a movement in today's society. You just need to Google to see things like the art of slow cooking, a slower pace of parenting, slower movement, slow sex, but I digress. To me, this is really linked to the idea of mindfulness that's really popular in today's society. But there's a reason that we're harking back to these mindful ways of being. But why are we looking at slow when it comes to ape model psychology? What's the link? Well, ape model and this slow pace are inextricably linked. And the fundamental reason why is because doing things at a slower pace and doing them more mindfully means you are more likely to sustain a change. And change is what ape model is all about. Whether you're looking at changing your body, enhancing or changing your relationships, or for most of you I know that you're changing your career or wanting to open a business, doing this more slowly and more mindfully means you are more likely to succeed. Interestingly, the slow movement came about some time ago. It's not a new concept. In fact, interestingly, a little case study shows that a guy called Carl Petrini in 1986 protested against the McDonald's being opened in Rome. Bravo Carl, against this idea of fast and quick, because fast and quick isn't always the answer. In fact, I've talked lots before here at Ape about the danger of needing to hustle or feeling that you need tips or hacks or quick strategies just to get to where you want to be. These tips and hacks and quick fixes don't really help you achieve what you want to achieve. In fact, they're more likely to be a fad a phase and you are more likely to fail if you try and do things at a fast pace. So today I'm just asking you to start this thought process and to start this journey into a slower pace of living. Step one is for me just to ask you this question, what could you do more slowly? What is it about your career or your relationships? Or taking time out to think about how you want to achieve a certain goal, what could you do more slowly in relation to that? That's all I'm going to share with you today. I really encourage you to do this exercise before next week because as I said, we're embracing the art of slow living here at 8 Model over the summer. So I hope you like what you've seen. Do remember to click on the link below to subscribe and that way you'll get this magic in your inbox every single week. Bye.